Just about 6.15, welcome back. Arizona's family tracking your vaccine and answering your questions as best we can. You know, in our state, nearly 37% of our population has received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and nearly 1.8 million people here in our state are fully vaccinated now. So as we start to maybe make some summer plans, there are a lot of questions, lots of confusion about vacations, what's safe to do, what's not safe to do once you are in that vaccinated status. So joining us this morning to give some guidance and, you know, always gives a smile and uh, helps us be our healthiest best self. Dr. Ken Red Cross, he's joining us live from New York. Doctor, it is great to see you and to see you smiling. Oh. Um, the last time we spoke, New York was really in the grips of yeah. the pandemic and it was a very difficult time. So I imagine you're feeling a, a lightning Oh, definitely, you. Olivia. Thank you for having me on. Look, guys, we're coming out of that darkness, so we are seeing brighter days. But as we're starting to want to get back to regular life, Olivia, we just need to make sure that we're being very smart and being really careful because we still are seeing a little bit of a surge. Yes, and we got to remember there are plenty of people who aren't vaccinated. And of course, as we've just uh, were reporting a few moments ago, there are plenty of questions about the, the length of the protection, the duration of protection and, and some infections that are happening for those who are vaccinated. So what advice do you have for summer travel? Stay close to home or, or venture out? Yeah, guys, so look, one of the things uh, is very important that we stay close to home. Think about those road trips we used to do like during those college days and so forth, because it's important to stay as close as you can to people who are like minded as well. But you want to kind of create almost a COVID kind of travel kit. Number one, you want to make sure that you have a travel thermometer with you there, Olivia, because obviously if you're not feeling yourself, you have to make sure that that temperature isn't going up a bit. If there's something else that we've learned throughout all this as well, Olivia, is the fact that vitamin D plays a really important part for our immune system. So make sure you know your levels. And when you have your levels, make sure they're between 40 and 60, incredibly important. And last but not least, you have to make sure you're bringing those antimicrobial wipes. And this mask is incredibly important and it will be for a long time for us. So these are the sort of things that you wanna kind of carry if you have to travel in your kit with you to keep you out of harm's way. Yeah, good advice. Uh, vitamin D, very important. And I know it shows itself if you have a deficiency in the fact that people feel very fatigued. I imagine it, it, your overall compromised immune system. Um, in addition to that, what other supplements do you think that we should be taking right now so that we can be um, our most protected self? Now, so we know that vitamin D is that base, but don't forget about magnesium, everyone. Magnesium is important for that molecule we all learned in health class called ATP to make sure that we're staying strong. Look, you need magnesium for your heartbeat and our heart beats over 100,000 times a day, so it's important. And magnesium with vitamin D have this beautiful interplay that's really important during this time of year when we wanna make sure that our immune system is robust and ready to go, Olivia, especially as we're trying to get back to normal life. What do you uh, say to those people who maybe are still hesitant about getting the COVID-19 vaccine, especially yeah. what's been in the news this week? Look, guys, I, I know it's still very, very tough and, and very hard to come around. But I'll tell you this, as we're learning more about the vaccine, dealing with the vaccine is a lot more important than dealing with COVID in and of itself. So it's why it's important to have that perfect relationship with your doctor. For me, it's about that bond because you have to have that one-on-one -on -one call to say, doc, is this safe? Is this good for me? So I'll tell you everyone, we're getting there, but the data is out that most people are doing well with vaccinations. But once again, I get the trepidation, but make sure you have that relationship with your doctor so you can feel comfortable that it's good for you. Dr. Red Cross, where do we get all your information in one nice little place? Oh, guys, so feel free. My website, Dr. Ken Red Cross. Um, and please say hello on any of the social media platforms. I truly mean that. Stay well, Arizona. You too. Always great to see you. Thank you.